why do you think Naruto Storm players went back to Storm 4? Um, because they were winning more, probably. That's my initial assumption, my initial hypothesis. Yeah, that they're winning more. So, they like, basically a lot of players didn't embrace Naruto Storm Connections or didn't stay for too long, and they went back to Storm 4 or to playing other games like Call of Duty or whatnot or some older games, right? So mm-hmm. maybe they... I actually thought that, too. I thought that a lot of people that had success in Storm 4 couldn't transfer over a lot of their techniques or tech or skill to connections mm-hmm. it it because it really did force you to it did it really did fix a lot of the problems storm 4 had but a lot of the problems storm 4 had are fun for the people doing mm-hmm. it they're not fun for the people not participating in those problems right like game breaking right. glitches yeah and you have to think storm 4 is, was out for like what seven eight years so like a lot of people that's all they know and so if they learned the most, you know, broken things in that game, and that's how they were just playing normally, for a lot of those options to be gone, it feels like a completely different game. You know, whereas we've, we, we've experienced changes in the Storm series after every entry, you know. So this is not our first rodeo. Yeah, it's more like we're more adaptable, whereas they got used to the same game for so long. Yeah, so in a way, they could even feel like potentially cheated or who knows what they might be feeling but you're right i think that they got used to it for a long time and they have a certain level of standard they're used to doing a certain level of things and this is where you know about three years ago when i came back to storm 4 approximately two or three years ago i really didn't like storm 4 i'm like what is this what did they do to this game right and the stuff Mm -hmm. that i thought was fun (laughs) definitely wasn't balanced right you could have balanced it but the stuff like combo support glitch Right, I I thought that was super fun. I did that with Heavy Sasuke, and he'd do like a down fireball combo in the middle of the screen, and then I could like play around that and Tasa around that, and you know do some interesting things. But then of course yeah, there's certain good. characters like Storm Three or Storm mm-hmm. Three Madara who was just broken, but like mm-hmm. I think they could have you know balanced it. What do you think? Yeah, it was like having the Storm One combo support option basically. Yeah, uh, Storm Four. You you had the ability to, if you wanted to, use your supports as like tilts, use your supports as combos, use your supports as an extra dash or a shuriken. And in, in a way, Storm Four like really encouraged the supports to have multiple functions more so than any other game. Um, but that was only that only came out of uh, like glitches. Like a glitch. It wasn't intended. intended. Yeah. Yeah. So now with, with connections, in a way, they giving you two jutsus. Uh, it's an intended way to give you more mechanics, but it actually restricted in a way that's like, well, now that tilt's gone. It, 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 if tilts were still in the game and you still had two jutsus, well, now your support could do a tilt and two jutsus and combo support and double dash. You know, like it would just be something in addition. So we, they, while, while they added something, they took something away. And so I think without the separation of tilt and jutsu, um, essentially having a weaker jutsu versus a stronger jutsu, uh, now that they're both strong, you know, you run into all sorts of issues. Absolutely. And the thing I always found interesting about tilts was even though they didn't have the the you know the same armor or properties or priority of a normal jutsu, they were essentially free jutsus that didn't cost any chakra. I'd always made that point, and I thought that was interesting, and I think this version of Connections would benefit from that even more, because Chakra doesn't regenerate as fast, and you can only do so much in so many Jitsus, right? So it would really be a valuable mix-up tool and interesting thing to do, right? Like, I almost feel like the game is going back and forth from you know, evolving and getting better, but then also, you know, the whole one step forward, two steps back. Yeah, there's not a lot of low-cost options, right? There's no No. Chaka Shirk, and there's no uh, Tilt, and those are the two most low-cost options. In fact, a lot of people would, you know, Tilt cancel with the Chaka Shirk, because that, like, that that sequence... um, of like breaking your recovery frames by throwing a shuriken like uh, for like Monado's tilt or something you know which goes back to even older storm games yeah i've been um, uh 
tilt canceling with chocolate shuriken since storm two in generations and it is like yeah. one of the best things and it, you could do it in every game i did it in mm-hmm. storm four all the time you did too a lot of people did and now it just those actions per minute go down and just as you said the amount of low chakra cost Mm -hmm. right or low cost well that was the thing it wasn't as high value because it's not a real jitsu it doesn't have all the Mm -hmm. properties but you had that option to mix it up and it was it was a skill-based option a lot of people didn't explore it they would find maybe the strongest thing like in storm 4 maybe like a yukito tilt and they would spam that all the time and that is definitely questionable because that tilt is just way better than 90 percent of the other tilts right yeah it was effectively a jutsu it was effectively via jitsu, exactly. Mm-hmm. So they ha- have always had this balancing sort of issue. Uh-huh. I think because of that, too, it's just the neutral in the game is, like, it's so jutsu-heavy now because that is, like, one of your three options <laughs> that you have in the neutral. It's so true. There's not many options, yeah. and jitsu is, like, the best option. So people just use that over and over again. What are the options yeah. in neutral now in this you know, it's going to be tough because in a few days oh there's God, a new patch, one. right? So this is like, this is be- this is after the first patch, but not and before the second patch, right? This so, is right. Bef- this is before Kurenai is released. So yeah, this is like know, a couple days before Kurenai is released. It, yeah. yeah, we don't know if there will be a balance patch or not. We're assuming there is. Yeah, you said it was one of three options. So like, what are the options oh, yeah, in yeah, neutral yeah. in your opinion? So like, so I mean, obviously there's there's variations of each one, but it's it's shuriken dash and jutsu. For, for lack of anything else, those are your three options. I guess you could consider mash an option, but I would I don't I don't know. That's all, like a few characters can have that, but not every character has access to like. Also, that's situation more mash. situational now, right? Like I do, ma- I totally do mash so as an option. So technically, there's four, I guess. Yeah. Um, and then within Jutsu, there's two, right? I have this one. I have that one. Some can split into like, do I do it in the air? Do I do it on the ground? Um, or like some charge, some don't charge, um, some are cancelable. The ones that are cancelable, you're more likely to use in the neutral because you're it's safer. Um, yeah, like a Chidori like, or a Rasengan. <clears throat> yeah, if you, if you look at chakra dashing, there's like I can do a normal chakra dash, I can do an air chakra dash, I can do a super dash, uh, where where you where you combo and then. And then dash, uh, you can do the same super dash, but in the air, where you do an air combo, then dash. Different characters have different timings for that. You have um, double dashing, where you're throwing out your support as a dash. You have a charge dash, where you stay on the ground. That also has, like, you know, I think they travel farther. They travel faster on average, like. That's true. There's different properties to, to, to different dashes. Yeah, I remember we tested out a few of them, and we were both surprised. We're like, oh, that's actually mm-hmm. a lot faster. Yeah, there's some nuance there, with even with different characters, whether you have a speed pill or don't have a speed pill. Everything functions a little bit different for, for each character. So where, to where some characters, you're just not chakra dashing with them because it's, like, bad. There's, like, low recovery or it's low speed. Yeah, you almost you become vulnerable with some characters if you chakra dash, and with others you get the advantage. So mm-hmm. it's very very interesting, and most people don't know that, and most people haven't explored that. 